Understanding share permissions has always been a challenge in the Windows operating systems on these server certification exams. So in this video, I want to go through the process and show you a little animation, try to help you get your head around exactly what's going on here. Now I talked about configuring shares and working with shares in different places in the course. And this video right here will help you on the exam once you understand those aspects but when you can kind of fold this particular information and this interaction between these shares together and understand this, you'll be able to navigate questions on the exam without any problem. Now, first of all, understand that the system format of the disk that you're doing the file sharing on affects the type of file sharing security. If that disk that the file or folder is sitting on that you're trying to share is formatted with the FAT or the FAT32 system, then the share permissions apply to network access. In other words, the only time that any of these share permissions that you're setting are going to apply or keep anybody from looking at that file is when it's being accessed from over the network. If someone logs on locally to the machine, they can just go right in and take a look at that file or folder. Now, if the disk is formatted with NTFS or REFS, now it's a little differently. The share permissions still apply to the network access, but we can also set NTFS permissions, and these really apply locally, but they apply to the access local and remote because when the remote access, the regular share permissions get applied to the resource, and then the operating system compares the NTFS or the local permissions, the most restrictive of those two permissions are enforced. Now, let's take a little bit closer look at this. You've got two sets of permissions that apply to NTFS and REFS. you got share permissions and NTFS permissions. So always keep in mind, and I'll show you this a little bit later on. I'll go in and we'll take a look at it in the interface in Windows Server 2012. But when I right click on a resource, a file or a folder, there's two tabs I can work off of. One's going to give me share permissions, one will set NTFS permissions. Make sure you understand the difference between these. Share permissions, let me say it one more time. Let's beat this dead horse real good here. Share permissions apply to network access. NTFS permissions apply locally. Here's an example. Simple little animation. I've got a server, I've got a client, and I have a folder on the server that I want to share. And so I set a share permission of read only. Now that means that when the user accessing that folder over the network, all they're going to get is the ability to read only. They can't make changes. A user that logs on locally is not affected by those share permissions and they can do whatever they'd like to that folder. Now, let's change the game just a little bit. This time, we have a server and a client and we have a folder on the server this folder has both a share permission, and notice that's full control, that means over the network, and it has an NTFS permission, which is read only. And so what happens here? When the user tries to access the folder over the network, they have read only permission because it is the most restrictive of these two. The share had full, the NTFS had read only, and so when the operating system compared these two, it says, okay, the most constrictive is read only, so that's all they're going to get. And the local user has read only because of the NTFS permission. So that's how this NTFS and share work together. Make sure this makes sense. You might want to watch this video a few times. Don't let them confuse you on the exam on this issue. 